What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about Season 6 coming to Warzone and Modern Warfare. Now, a lot of people like myself kind of thought that we were not going to be getting another season after Season 5, leading up to the reveal and launch of Black Ops Cold War. However, that was completely and entirely wrong, as the Minnesota Roker, who are a professional Call of Duty esports team, announced over on their Twitter that they're going to be hosting a 100k Live from Warzone event starting on September the 29th, which also happens to be the day that Season 6 goes live. So let's check out some of the new content we're going to be getting within Season 6, and this includes new weapons, a zombies infected mode for Warzone, and much, much more. So guys, like I said, mark your calendars for September the 29th, and within that time, we should be getting little teasers and updates leading up to the launch of Season 6. Now, first off, we're going to be talking about weapons. Now, a lot of these weapons I'm going to mention appear to be nearly fully rendered and completed, so if you guys want to check out the gameplay for these weapons, I'll have a link down below. Credit goes out to BK Tour for the data mine. But yeah, one of those weapons we mentioned here on the channel is the R700 sniper rifle. And a lot of people are hoping that this new sniper rifle coming to Warzone is going to be able to tickle everyone's pickle as the right tech really wasn't it for snipers. The HDR and the ARX are still pretty meta in the game, so hopefully the R700 can come in and kind of shake up the meta a little bit. Now another weapon we're going to be getting is the AA-12 shotgun, which was from the Modern Warfare 2 and 3 series. Um, but the shotguns in the game currently are very, very OP to use. The Origin just absolutely melts players. If you're getting pushed by a player using the Origin 12 and you don't have one, then it's going to be pretty freaking hard for you to beat that. So maybe the AA-12 is going to come in and take the Origin spot as the number one shotgun to use in the game because a lot of players right now are complaining and wanting a nerf on the damage for the Origin 12. Lastly, we do have a new assault rifle coming called the AS Val. And what's pretty cool about the AS Val is it has a built-in suppressor, so it's kind of like the Honey Badger from Call of Duty Ghost. And again, all of these weapons have data mine gameplay. The renders appear to be almost completed, so more than likely, these are going to be the three weapons we get in Season 6. Two of the weapons should be coming at launch, and then one of them at some point, maybe in October next month. I'm not sure about the order of the weapons, but yeah, this could be something to kind of give us like a little mid-Season 6 update to kind of give us more content to chew on leading up to Black Ops Cold War. So again, if you guys want to go check out the gameplay, a link's going to be down below. Now, next month happens to be Halloween season, so I'm kind of crossing my fingers here, but hopefully we could see a visual map update on Warzone that fits the Halloween theme. Maybe there could be a bunch of Halloween decoration items like jack-o'-lantern and spiderwebs, all of that spread out across Verdansk that fits the Halloween season. So Infinity Ward, please, please, please come through on that. I love Halloween, and that would be freaking amazing to see. But we are actually going to be getting one visual map update, and that happens to be a nighttime theme of Verdansk. So maybe there's going to be night vision goggles that players can equip, kind of like the night vision mode on multiplayer, except we do have to loot and find the item. Now, one of the new LTMs we're going to be getting in Warzone is Infected, a pandemic-type mode. It's kind of similar to the Infected multiplayer game mode, except there are actual zombies that play players are going to turn into pretty scary stuff and there's a bunch of voice lines and descriptions that can be found within the files of the game mode and how it's going to play out but a lot of these voice lines are removed on the internet um but yeah we are going to be getting some type of zombies game mode coming to warzone now another map update we're going to be getting on verdansk is a underground a subway which is pretty freaking huge which i made a video on talking about a few weeks ago but we know this because during the cdl league championship games we got a little cutscene on verdansk to celebrate the dallas empire winning and as a little easter egg or teaser we can see one of these similar metro entrances that can be found across Across the various points on Verdansk so if you guys want to go watch the video I made talking about that more into details then I'll have a link down below in the description but guys so far these are all the map updates and changes that we know of coming to Verdansk now one last final thing to throw in there this was reported over on a modern war zone and it's this screenshot of private match in a war zone now I don't expect to see private matches come in season 6 because I think the devs want to save that for the black ops cold war version of war zone but I do for sure think private matches are going to be coming at some point this year, which would be amazing for me personally because it's so much more easier to make videos and test things for tips and tricks and stuff like that on Warzone. So I cannot wait to see that, guys. And then we might also be getting a mobile version of Warzone coming within 2021 because over on Activision's job listing, there's an opening for executive producer 
with the code name WZM, which might stand for Warzone Mobile. Now, the description reads, as executive producer, you will own product framing and player experience on a new AAA mobile FPS in the Call of Duty franchise. And also, this person needs to learn how to adapt Warzone into a mobile experience and understand what aspects of the mode need to carry over, improve upon the Warzone formula by proposing and producing mobile-specific additions, and changes the features to ensure a best-in-class mobile experience that players will love. So guys, that pretty much does confirm that we are going to be getting a mobile version of Warzone, except I do think that's many, many more months away because they're actually looking for an executive producer for this game. So um, yeah, like I said, that's kind of off in the distance, but it for sure is something to keep in mind within these next coming months here leading up to 2021. Now it's interesting because there already is a Call of Duty mobile game with its own battle royale experience. So I guess Activision just wants to tap into again the mobile market and industry and develop a battle royale mobile version of Warzone to compete with Fortnite, PUBG, etc. So I'm not opposed to this honestly. I welcome the mobile bots honestly. Like good luck to you using your phone against a mouse and keyboard. I'm just kind of surprised that they don't want to create a Switch version of Warzone first. I don't know why, but for some reason it seems like Activision wants to stay as far away as possible from Nintendo. Either way though, again, I'm not opposed to mobile players, honestly. Um, a lot of people are kind of upset about this, but tell me your thoughts about all this down below in the comments, guys. What are your thoughts about Season 6 as well? And thanks for watching. I love you guys so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.